In this video, we're going to start looking at the first of the index laws. Before we do, let's do a bit of revision. If we write 3 to the power of 4 in the expanded form, we have 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. In other words, 4 3's multiplied together. The 3 is called the base. The 4 is called the index. Quite often, however, we'll write a number or a letter without an index. When we do this, it really means that there's a 1 is the index. So 5 means 5 to the power of 1, and x means x to the power of 1. Let's see what happens when we multiply two numbers with the same base and an index each together. So in our example, we're going to do 3 to the power of 4 times 3 to the power of 3. If we write this in expanded form, we get 4 3's multiplied together times another 3 3's. When we reduce this now to index form, we get 3 to the power of 7. What we notice is that 7 is really 4 plus 3. Let's consider now if we've got p to the power of 5 times p to the power of 6. If we were to write this in expanded form, we would have a total of 11 p's multiplied together, which when we go back to index form is p to the power of 11. This brings us to our index law, where you're multiplying two numbers with the same base, so you've got a to the power of m times a to the power of n gives us the same base with the two indexes added together, so we get a to the m plus n. Our examples are 2 cubed times 2 to the power of 5 is equal to 2 to the power of 3 plus 5. 7 squared times 7 cubed is equal to 7 to the power of 2 plus 3, which is 5. p to the power of 6 times p to the power of 1, remembering that when there's no index, it really means the index is 1, is equal to p to the power of 6 plus 1, which is 7. And x to the power of 3, or x cubed, times x to the power of 4 is equal to x to the power of 3 plus 4. You've just seen how when you've got a single base and you're multiplying it, two numbers together with same base, different indexes, how you just add the indexes together. So if we have 13 to the power of 3 times 13 to the power of 5, that's going to be 13 to the power of 3 plus 5, which is 8. So that's very, very simple and straightforward. Let's suppose we mix things up a bit. Suppose it's not got just one base involved. Let's take a look at what happens when we've got two bases. So we might have 2 to the power of 3 times 3 to the power of 5, and that's multiplied by 2 to the power of 4 times 3 to the power of 6. The rule is that you can't mix bases. So what you do is you look at the single base, and you do that one, and then you do the second base. So, looking at the twos, we've got 3 here, 4 here, so 3 plus 4 gives us 7. Multiplied by, we've now got the do the second base, which is the 3. 5 plus 6 is 11, so 3 to the power of 11. And that's it. Even when it becomes more complicated and you're looking at a series of letters, you work them out one base at a time. The rule is very, very simple. The process becomes very, very simple. And things that look very difficult you'll actually find it a lot easier than if you've got big numbers you're trying to multiply together. Numbered examples look a little bit complicated when you've got big ones going on. So what we're going to do now is let's take a look at some of the algebraic multiplications and the way we're working with bases there. So if I have something like 2a squared b and I multiply by 3ab, First of all, let's work on the numbers. We've got 3 times 2, 2 times 3, so that's 6. 
that's the numbers out the way. Now we look at the letters A, so A times an A squared. Remember that's an, got an index of 1 because there's no index there. So that's going to be A to the power of 2 plus 1, which is 3. And similarly, you've got B, which is really B to the power of 1, B to the power of 1, B to the power of 1 times B to the power of 1 is 1 plus 1 is 2, so that's B squared. That's it. Work one step at a time. This, every big one that looks like this is really made up of a series of little ones. Let me show you what I mean. Okay? So if we have something like 7a squared, b cubed, f cubed, g, h to the 5, times 8a, c, f squared, g squared, h, x. And this looks big, horrible, and scary. In actual fact, the skills you used in this one, exactly the same as the ones you use here. You do the numbers first, so we have 7 times 8, 7 eighths are 56. You have an a squared, and an a to the power of 1, so that's going to give you a cubed. Doing the letters, of course, in alphabetical order, b cubed, that no, stays the same. You've got a c by itself there, f cubed, f squared, so 2 plus 3 is 5. So f to the power of 5. g, which is really g to the power of 1. So g to the power of 1 plus times g to the power of 2 gives g to the power of 3. That's 1 plus 2. h to the 5. h to the 1 gives me h to the 6. And we've got an x sitting at the end. That's it. Your number. So rules, way to work it is number, basis in alphabetic order. If you do numbers first, number calculate the number, as we did here with 7 eighths 56, then the basis in alphabetical order and work out then what the index is. That's it.